All right, folks, the deck is Reno Paladin. The goal of the deck is to take advantage of Prince Renathal's upside to give us 40 health, which buys us a little bit more time, especially when paired with things like High Priest the Call into Reno Jackson, or simply working our way towards Light Forge Carriel, which allows us to reduce the damage that our opponent is doing. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. You can catch me live at twitch.tv slash raffle. Watch this! Make an Odd Warrior list with a new card. Uh, I think I just did Odd Warrior recently, so it probably won't come back around for a while. Beautiful. Beautiful. Oh my god. That's nice. Well met. Well met. Leftmost card was kept. Yeah. Uh, gotta go fast, I guess. Which the... Uh, Health doesn't matter here, so let's just draw. Lotheb and Zola are good for dealing with the uh, reward. I do want to hold those back as long as I can, but I should be able to make better use of the Nas than the opponent, right? Because they still need to play the low cost spells just to get through the first person portion of it. Oh. Well met. So they can play more cards, but they don't want to play big cards because then they're not able to, like, an Anduin here would make it potentially impossible for them to complete the quest. And I've just got an Anixia to follow it up, so. That's a good response for them, but now I get a full board of whelps. I could even get like a brand Lotheb into Zola and get a lot of Lothebs back. Possible they scream this, but that's not quest progress at least. And there aren't a lot of seven mana cards in the top end anyway, so. Rest easy. Sure. You are safe. It might be worth just chopping these down just to get the um, board space. And the lack of incentive for. Um, Oh, we're chopping it down anyway. But the incentive or the disincentive for playing Psychic Scream is now gone, so I need to actually legitimately consider that. Life and hope of you ain't seen Hold back. Uh, this is 16, 24, 28. I'm going to go for it. It was not unreasonable for them to scream last turn, so they might do it here. Or they might not have it. They have it. That means I lose my... Oh, Plague. Plague is fine. But I do lose my Brian Zola, which was kind of important for me. I have only think I had dragons die so far, but I might need to gem this just to get stuff on the board. Because I don't want to give up the... Uh... Okay, well, this is something to put on the board. And this is very good for the... Uh... Nizoth. Reno is offline. Oh my god. How many dirty rats have they? That's three dirty rats, right? I guess they had one off of where he's dead. The hands, uh, as far as I know, are not elementals. I might have to bounce the, use the Zola on the 
is off just for the pressure. Nope. This is brutal. The time has come to throw our former master. May the light grant you peace. Reporting for duty. Excuse me? I could go horribly wrong. I think I want the card draw more than anything. Like, what if they burn their seven and eights? I guess it's only sevens at this point, but My hand is they're just trying to empty deck. So maybe hit some of the sevens? My hand is full. No? Wait, that's a duplicate? Or they used uh, Shadow Visions to get them? The bummer. Especially hitting that Leviathan, because I need cards right now. Pretty starved for them. I I can't use that here. Because I need this combo. This is very bad. Um I'll make you a real top. Oh, their top end is so greedy. Oh! That's a seven. That's now gone. Would have been gone anyway, but. Maybe use the coin there? <laughs> Martian, thank you for the raid. We had a good stream. We're playing a little uh, Prince Renathal Merino Paladin at the moment. I don't want to give up the Lothab yet. Uh, because we are up against a quest priest, so. They burn me Tannis. There's, I mean, Psychic Scream is the answer, I suppose. Um, but they have to draw it still. Which is hard to do, given the number of cards supremely in their deck. No longer difficult to do. That probably gets them there. Or not. Yeah, the timing of that, uh, the call was kind of a bummer, but... I mean, this whole game has been a bit of a bummer. Like, getting our Nazop. Like, they've played three Dirty Rats so far. I don't know how I can win from here. They hit our Bran with the Dirty Rat, which I was saving for the uh, Lothab Zola. I think my only hope is that they don't have a seven mana card to complete, which, I mean, they've got to be running Psychic Scream, right? I'll make you a real Hit another seven cost minion? Oh, there's no more minions in their deck. Oh, no. Our hardships All right. Only Soul Mirror? I think they already played one Soul Mirror early, right? Unless that was the previous game. Because we, we used uh, Shnaz Dormu to get them to... No, that, I think that was the previous game because I had the Leviathan on the board. But Gariel actually does something. Okay. That is, in fact, the second Octo. Sorry. We can burn something that has seven mana if we kill that. Missed the target I was looking for there. The battle. Remember the fallen. We have the potential to punish that. Oh, 
I've got equalities. Got Barov. Beautiful. Do try to keep yourselves alive. Yeah. Burn a psychic scream. Oh, I should have killed this first. My hand is full. Plague. Anduin's gone. Uh oh. I I messed that up though. Well, Psychic Scream is the out, so they would just give me this if they do Psychic Scream here. Oh, they burn it anyway, right? So it's fine. It works out the same way. Problem solved. Please no scream, please no scream. Please land here. Unlucky. Let your faces continue. I think we're just fine from here, right? So we have a couple turns of Lothub. Like even with the scream. But I'm still just gonna save these because it's a smart thing to do. Good God. Burn to only Mechanus as a seven card? Yeah, so the you would think that you would have a little bit more redundancy than just a single seven cost card in a 40 card deck, right? Unless they're planning on reducing the cost of the whirlpools. But that doesn't seem like a reliable way to get there. Wait out your Mutanus. I guess I have been holding a lot of cards, so that could be it. But... I don't think... I think you just have to kind of go for it, right? The longer the game goes on, the more likely I am to hit the Mutanus. Let's keep this for the, uh, the low thumb turn. I mean, I talked earlier about how games don't go to fatigue anymore, but I wasn't accounting for the opponent playing literal double Octa, sorry. So, I guess that was my mistake. Yeah, I don't think they have it. But again, there is no reason to take any risks here. Until we see that card, we're just going to hang out. Biggest bluff ever? Could be. Yep. They weren't even Reno. Alright. Well, guess we get to go in on these now. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Like, 40 cards and only one of them has a 7 drop is a huge risk to take. Look at me. Bonk. <laughs> this pitch the dirty rat. Yeah, good opener. I probably don't want to play the Finley until I get the carry online though. Ah, I see you Fantastic. Well met. Uh, I'm gonna go here and hope that I hit the... I'm gonna go here next turn. Or maybe I just play this and get the wild growth guaranteed. Because I have a lot of dragons in my deck. So, let's just do this. Boop. Oop. 
Let's get to the carryall ASAP as possible. Okay, that's concerning. Gonna need an answer to their Jigafin. Give them a chance to draw one of the Murlocs first, maybe. Don't really have anything I'm like fully committed to playing next turn anyway, so. ASAP as possible means as soon as possible as possible. No, it means ASAP as possible. Exactly what I said. SMH my head. You're welcome, Tasselis. Self-damage quest with 40 HP finally good? Uh, no, because it's banned in wild, because it was too good. Because it's... I don't know why that finally is confusing. I hope they won't unban Demon Seed now. They will. They've already indicated that they will. I don't think there's any reason to assume that that will change. Okay, that can help me deal with the Jigafin. SMH my head. Odd Warrior just got a HUGE buff! Yeah, but it's still probably a bad deck into anything that isn't uh, aggro, which is a lot of things. So, I don't think it matters too much. That could help me deal with the Jigafin if I can buff it. Unlucky. Going on a dangerous voyage. You win. I've got a few chances to hit it still. Might as well just rip this, I guess. Oh. Welcome to my hand, I suppose. Demon Saint is bad. Bad and standard? You well, yeah, it lost like all of the good cards. <laughs> but because they're still in wild. The end is coming! Treachery? That kind of seems okay for me. What happens when the Demon Seed rotates out? Uh, they said that they're going to change it. So that it is a little bit more balanced. Okay, so I hit a... Um, I hit a duplicate Colossal Minion, so that probably means I have a Leviathan at the bottom of my deck. Uh, Gul'dan is quite scary still, right? Or Nizoth. Okay, there's the Jigafin. If I can buff this even once, I've got two chances at it. Then the problem is solved. But I need to be able to get it... ...out of range. That does it? That guarantees it? Oof, that's a full clear. Wait, no, that I didn't want that to actually hit. That's a bummer. It's too big now. Oh wait, no, it's fine. Okay, I didn't know how that interaction was gonna go. Nice. I thought the uh, the attack was going to happen before the death rattle, but. Spell, uh, frenzy happens before the death rattle because that makes sense. Okay. His friendly hap frenzy happens when it takes the damage. Oh death God, rattle happens so after well. the damage is done. Anybody? Shuffle off. 
Can't target anything with that. So that's a Hysteria. Nice. Good outcome for me. I mean, I get that they're running the wizard, but that really reduces their longevity this game. Clean that off. Make board space. Uh, and I think I actually want to play this because I can't Reno until I hit anyway, right? Oh no, I'm gonna shuffle back anyway. Uh, I should have played this. No, I couldn't have played this sooner. I just get to keep the hand, but I do get to see what's at the bottom at least. Yeah, it's the Leviathan. Developing stats here is probably a good idea anyway. Nope. I've seen death twice. I mean, they knew it was both, right? I brand it. Nope. <laughs> well, that turn was rough. Uh, 10. I'm not even close, right? See if we can hit an Azoth, maybe? Should I hold back here? I haven't seen Zeph, have I? I should hold back here. Like, I could develop the Renathal, but I think that's uh, a bit of a risk. Well yeah. met. 11 months. That's yeah. almost 12 months. Hey, Glitchy. Hey Thank, you for, Thank you for the 11 months. And uh, we just go with Wakalar here. Or Neptulon. Uh, that There's not enough space on the board for that, so GG. Nice. Turns out 40 health wasn't enough for the opponent there. Zeph on curve seems pretty good. Did you play Cthulhu a single time with Hydro deck? No, I was absolutely never going to. What? I have to draw 40 cards again. <laughs> fatigue is non-existent in, in Wild, so if Fatigue is non-existent, I'm very unlikely to draw a Cthune in a deck with an excessive amount of cards. Most games I didn't even draw more than two, like I think the most number of Cthune spells I drew with that deck was two. Because I rarely made it halfway through my deck because fatigue is no, of no consequence in Wild. Reporting for duty. It should still give me Wild Growth, right? Your wish is my suggestion. Cool. True strength comes from within. Uh-oh. Is it like Glare Pal Paladin? Or just hand buff Paladin? Either way, let's go ahead and take no! that off the board. Opponent seems to be the aggressor. Even though they haven't committed much to the board just yet, I think it's... Yeah, it looks like hand buff. Let's just take that off the board and make them overdraw one. It's not likely to be relevant, but... Alternatively, I could go here and here, but I think this is better. My hand is too full. That's a good burn. Uh, really? 
Okay, that kind of uh, diminishes the value of Samuro. Or not. Might as well go in now. I've got Coinless next turn. At least we denied the battle cry. Got a few options for next turn. Really like the Phelan, since uh, fatigue is such a threat against this deck. Yeah, yeah, as you can see here. <laughs> this is actually one game that we could take to fatigue, but the opponent would not be terribly happy if that ends up being the case. Uh, yeah, definitely. Oh wait, I can't coin anymore. It's kind of a bummer. Okay. Eight a charger. I will take that. Deck size matters? I mean, not in the way that most people think. Accidents. They happen, you know. My blade seeks vengeance. I don't know if I have a Divine Shield minion left anymore, which could be a problem. Oh, I do. Good. No taunts, though? It's fine. Well met. 25 months. In this economy, JK, my sub is the best return on investment I've ever made. Are you excited about the new start of 40 health and deck size card? It feels like the deck size would be more of a downside demo. Uh, it is more of a downside, but it's a matter of whether the uh, upside makes up for that. So, uh, in some decks it's good. So I'm playing it right now, but uh, thank you for the 25 months. For the Alliance and my family, I fight. I've got to clear on whatever they play next turn if or when they play the big thing. We're going on a dangerous voyage. You win. Really hope I don't get duplicates there. But uh, I can go equality coin uh, Onyxia and just like decimate their board. So I'm going to save the Onyxia until I see their uh, uh, their big body that they, we know they have somewhere. I think it's here. Or was it already? Yeah, I think it's this one of these has the righteous. Uh... Dredge first. No, draw first. These are all pretty good here. I, must move quickly. I think I'm, I'm gonna go with that. Should be in a pretty good spot from here. what we've been waiting on. Um, I don't even need the uh, equality anymore. I'm still afraid this might... I don't think it's big. I think that they already... I think it landed on that twice so i should be in a very good spot but i got a chance to re retain the equality i've got the behemoth i know that my reno is online because we saw the colossal minions that were shuffled 
reporting for duty. Make room for the Neptune. I've still got the equality, so it's just GG. Feeble prawns. God, my deck is so fat. Thank you to legendary patrons Brian Wynn, Fizzle Jizzix, Gian Rusi, HS Battlefly, Jeffrey Pierce, Justice Crater, Nate Drex, Osiris, Iroflow Scarlet, St. Arthur, Shado Yama, Vanfix, and Zach Martin. 